been married to Patrick for 51 plus years. Just short of two weeks, then we would have been 52, but he had to go away earlier. I think after 10 years in the cardiac intensive care unit, I have seen a lot of resuscitative efforts and there is a limit to what the body can take. When it's time, there needs to be a shift in the focus of care. And this is what palliative medicine is all about. Most people do not want to think about death. But the truth is that every person will pass away and it's the wish of every patient to be able to pass away in a manner that's comfortable painless in a manner whereby family members are well supported and at peace. Mr. Ong, hey, Sang how ah? Yang Ethan. Palliative care is not about taking care of a particular organ or particular disease. We are very focused on taking care of a person as a whole. Our aim and objective is to ensure that we bring peace and comfort to both the patient as well as their immediate family members. My husband was warded at Ward 83. I was a little bit apprehensive, but after coming in and meeting all of them, the warmth and the manner that they treated not only my husband, but me and my family, it really was overwhelming. We were so happy that he is in very good hands. Death and dying can be a very stressful process because it is filled with a lot of uncertainties. So when patients are first introduced to palliative care, people may feel saddened that they are medically abandoned. But in truth, when they find that their symptoms are much better controlled, they are able to emotionally connect with them members in a manner that is constructive and enriching. Before my job, I felt that death can be quite a lonely and scary experience. But through this job and working with the team, the nurses, the doctor, the therapist, I realised that facing death can be less lonely and scary. The palliative care team will go the extra mile to organise a special occasion for the patient as well as the families. So I remember that we organised an RM for this elderly couple who wanted to get married. I think it's heartening to see them. I think it brings joy and hope. Yeah, it's very sweet for the elderly in the 80s to do this ceremony. My husband missed his book lounge because he was sick and he was hospitalised. When the doctors here heard about it, they went about to do a soft launching. It was beautifully done, all the nurses. Everybody was there and they sang his favourite songs. Although he was so weak, they managed to get him to sign the book. So it was a beautiful, beautiful gesture on the part of all of them. I find it very meaningful to be able to journey with my patient and their family member during such intense emotional period as they experience grief from their loss. So I, I really think it's a privilege. We have been going in and out of hospital but never had we come across doctors like those in Ward 83 that showed us so much of warmth, you know. Even though my husband was so ill, he was able to thank the doctors, they smile at them. I think confide in them in his own way. The warmth touched us very much. <laughs>